Hey everyone, welcome to the Arkham Origins Any% Percent tutorial. This video series will help teach you all the glitches, skips, and tricks you need to speedrun this game. All the videos are going to be in a playlist that's linked down in the description. Uh, in this, we're not going to go over like every single part of the run or in the entire route. We're just going to cover the key parts, the major skips, glitches, all that stuff. Uh, in the first part here, we're going to go over how to set up the game so that you can actually do all of the skips and all the basic tech you need to actually start learning the full run. All right, first things first, before you do anything, we need to set the game's frame rate cap to 62 frames per second. Uh, to do this, find where you have the game installed, um, go to this directory and open up bmengine.ini in Notepad or whatever text editor you wanna use. With that open, uh, you should be able to find a section called engine.gameengine. Uh, at the very bottom of that section, there's a line that says max smoothed frame rate equals negative one. Uh, change the negative one to 62 and save the file. Next, you want to open up the game, go into the options menu and specifically the graphics options menu. In there, you need to disable VSync. That'll make sure the game actually does run at 62 frames per second and doesn't get capped to whatever the refresh rate of your monitor is. Uh, and you, while you're there, you also want to disable Hardware Accelerated Phys X. Uh, that'll affect some things in the run. The other settings don't matter, but I'd recommend setting everything as low as possible just to make sure you get the best performance possible. Uh, now that your game's all set up, we can move on to learning all the glitches. All right, first glitch we're gonna learn is door canceling. Basically, you can interrupt the animation of opening a door by firing a gadget at the same time. Uh, the reason this is useful is because you can actually unload the room you're currently in. Uh, we'll go over more how that's useful a little bit later on. Uh, you can do this with either the bat claw, the batarang, or the smoke pellet. Uh, to do this, you just have to equip one of those gadgets, walk up to the door, and press aim, alternate fire, and open all at the exact same time. They all have to be done on the exact same frame. Uh, you'll know you got it when the camera locks like this, and you see the door open while Batman is throwing or shooting the gadget. Uh, it's very precise since, again, all the inputs have to be pressed on the exact same frame, so don't be discouraged if it takes a lot of time and practice to get it right. If Batman is opening the door without firing the bat claw, you're probably pressing alternate fire a little bit too late, so you need to press it a bit sooner. And if Batman is throwing or shooting the gadget but the door stays shut and the camera doesn't do that thing, then you probably are pressing open slightly too late, so try pressing that a little bit sooner. Uh, really, the whole trick here is just learning the timing for the inputs. All right, next up is the butterfly glide, which is by far the most important glitch in the run. The entire route depends very heavily on doing this. Unfortunately, it only works on the PC version, specifically with keyboard and mouse. Uh, so to do it, you just go near a ledge, hold aim with any gadget. You have to hold aim for the entire time while you're setting it up. Uh, look down just a little bit, not too much, just like so then hold space and start walking off the ledge. As soon as Batman's cape spreads, there's a like, there's a specific sound cue for that. And you just wanna pull up the camera. Uh, here it is again in slow motion, and this is the exact frame that you should pull up on. While you're doing this, it is while you're in the butterfly, it is possible to lose it, but you can easily recover it by either whacking the camera down and then back up again, or by very lightly tapping control to dive bomb. So those are all the major glitches. Uh, there's another minor glitch that's pretty useful to learn. Uh, it's the ground takedown cancel. This one actually only works on controller. Uh, doing it's pretty simple. Basically, you just do a ground takedown. If you get one of these jumping animations where Batman is like jumping over to the guy he's about to do a ground takedown on, uh, start mashing the quick fire bat claw inputs. If you get it, he'll stop the ground takedown and fire the bat claw. But the thug you were attempting to do a ground takedown on will still get knocked out. So you save a little bit of time just by doing that. Um, to get one of those jump animations, you typically have to have a free flow combo, but sometimes you'll get one without it. Bonus the time you need one though. Uh, this glitch isn't super useful. It does save a little bit of time in the early game though, so it is a good thing to learn. And those are pretty much all the fundamentals you need to start learning the any percent route. Uh, if you want to learn that, 
uh, the playlist for the rest of the series will be down in the description again. Go check that out. Thank you very much for watching.